Hello everyone, uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to deploy a sample uh, web application into your IIS server. So to do that, let's create a folder to uh, have our website uh, code. So let's call it my web server. Uh, let's go ahead and create a new file here called index.html. Uh, now let's go ahead and edit this file so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy the sample text which basically prints out hello world in the title as well as in the body now once you have done that uh, you can go to IIS manager and in this manager you can go to uh, default website and click on uh, add application now browse to this uh, particular folder that you have created uh, and you can add an alias here let's call it my web server and click on OK now uh, to view this site you can uh, go to manage applications and browse and uh, you should see that at the first time you should get an internal server error due to uh, insufficient permissions to counter that uh, what you can do is right click and uh, select edit permissions uh, go to security and uh, make sure that this folder is accessible to IS so what I generally do is I edit and add a group called everyone and I basically give all the permissions full control to that particular group to make it work so alright let's go ahead and refresh this and see that uh, as you can see the hello world now works uh, now what we'll do is we'll try to make it work with HTTPS and see if that works so as you can see it does not work because our website is not yet configured to use HTTPS uh, to configure your website to use HTTPS what you can do is uh, go to the root uh, node and go to server certificates uh, which should be here and you can see there is a self-signed certificate that is already generated by IS for you but if it is not there you can create a self-signed certificate from the option over here right so make sure this is present uh, next you next you need to go to default website and click on bindings uh, here you can see that your website is binded to port 80 by default now you need to go ahead and add uh, an HTTPS binding and make sure you select the self-signed certificate that you had generated in the previous step so once you have done that just uh, accept uh, all the default settings and then let's go ahead and try to refresh this page and now you can see that hello world comes up in HTTPS protocol as well so thank you